Well, we all know there probably can never be another Warren Buffett, but over the weekend, Berkshire Hathaway has announced his successor. And uh, we do have uh, Eric Holm here to tell us all about it. Of course, every time Berkshire Hathaway or Warren Buffett makes a decision or does something, everybody's always listening intently to find out what it is. So uh, they didn't say who it was, right? Right, But they exactly. said they've made a decision. Uh, they, they did. Um, they, in fact, covering Buffett is a bit like covering the, uh, the Kremlin, being a Kremlinologist, <laughs> right? Some, uh, he goes, does a lot of media interviews. Views, but there are some questions that he just won't answer, and one is, who's going to be your uh, your replacement? And why do you think that yeah. is? Why is there so much secrecy? Well, um, it could be that uh, he doesn't want the pressure on this person before it's necessary, right. and uh, another um, reason is that uh, he wants to reserve the right to change his mind. Um, you know, it, 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 people have been asking these questions for years, so uh, right. it could be that he's changed his mind sometime well, what, along what the way. What do major shareholders think? In other words, they, 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 over this past weekend, we should set a little bit of background. Is the annual letter right. uh, that that comes out uh, from Warren Buffett, a uh, lot chock block with information and his views on lots of things. And, and the big news was this idea that he, you know, they said in a sense, we're quite secure in our succession plan. Right. And you know, in a corporate governance sense, is that enough? for uh, major shareholders or longtime holders of Berkshire Hathaway. Okay, the board and, and the chairman and CEO have spoken. They've told us there's a succession plan. Uh, should we be satisfied or do we need to know the names? Well, the shareholders that we've talked to are, are not happy uh, with, uh, with the fact that they don't know. Now, if you talk to Buffett, he'll make the point that um, you know, no company tells you who the replacement's going to be um, you know, well in advance. Um, now, the thing is that Berkshire's a different company. Warren Buffett's built this company over 40-plus years, uh, you know, almost on his own with the help of one guy, right. Charlie Munger, as right. vice chairman. And, you know, so the fact that this company became such a success with Buffett, that's why there's so many questions right. but about the, who's But the holders do him. know, uh, and correct me if I'm wrong, of course, yeah. the holders do know that even post Buffett and Charlie Munger, it'll be a different setup. In other words, one person won't control right. both being a traditional CEO and being the chief investment officer. That already has been decided that it's split up. So wouldn't it be that there's a bit, in a sense, as, as, as big as those shoes are to fill, still a little bit less pressure on an eventual successor because the person isn't taking over, wouldn't take over everything that Warren Buffett does. That's true. Uh, Buffett does three things. He's the chairman, chief executive, and chief investment officer. And they, they've, they've hired two people who are going to fill that chief investment officer role and might hire a third, Buffett says. Um, and the chairman job is going to be a non-executive job that is, goes to his son. Uh, but, uh, but people still want to know who's mm -hmm. going to run Berkshire Hathaway. 